I've been told... Is Johnny Vegas in the building? Oh. Is Johnny Vegas in the building? He is in the building. Oh. Johnny Vegas is in the building. He's made it here on the back of a motorbike from Pinewood Studios. He's coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Vegas is here. Right now. We never thought we'd see the day! Come on, you. How are you? I'm all right. Johnny, you made it! Oh! <laughs> we have got, uh, Johnny, we have got a photo of you from 10 years ago. Let's have a look to see how much you've changed. Wow. What were you doing in that photo? I was doing an advertisement and I was rolling across the bonnet of a car and I suddenly realised that I had a family to look after. <laughs> and then, as your children get older, you realise that they're going to find pictures like that online. <laughs> and so I retired from such adverts. <laughs> Everything uh, you say feels like it needs their phone number at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> People are affected by your sadness. I am a walking helpline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk sport now. 2019 saw England wow, win... Wow, is that my bit? Is that...? <laughs> is that all? There's more. I'm going to ask you more questions. <laughs> I, I don't get a chance to talk about my ambitions, just... There's a picture, you look... You looking fat, it like... <laughs> Sorry, what have, what's been your highlight of the decade? It doesn't matter! <laughs> <laughs> I am um, my highlight of the day. Well, I thought you were going to ask me my highlight of the year. Yes, what's that? Was watching a really angry Punch and Judy man actually leave the tent, and he walked past an ice cream man, and he went, "I'm at you." <laughs> <laughs> he knew that his Punch and Judy <laughs> women hitting men was in demise, and he was angry that another guy. I'd gone into a different business selling joy rather than domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> and I sat there and it really made me happy. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. What happens now? This well this is quite This should be pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> Just before we go on, this is kind of appropriate. This is the is this year's the 25th anniversary of uh, it is of, uh, of yes of, of I'm too sexy. It Did is. you think of changing it to I'm too brexy just to push your point? <laughs> or I'm too arthritic. We were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so you're an, you're an out campaigner, Johnny. You're you're an in believer. Yes. We would like you now to arm wrestle. Okay. And this okay. is for the people. This is not to decide who to vote for. This is to decide who you really really want to win. Okay. okay. So gentlemen, okay. are you going to give us the you know? Oh yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you for choosing a gym enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think he's going to win. I think... Yeah, I, th right. I think... Right, it's all the shoulders. <laughs> Sly still on over the top. <laughs> all right. I have an abandoned love charge. Three, two, one, go! go. Result, it's it about... is. No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's about how you feel about the result. If you're unhappy with who won, then vote the other way. Your gut has spoken. Very <laughs> much, Chief. <laughs> Leaving Europe is like telling your parents you want independence and then you move into the garage. <laughs> We've got everyone here on the sofa. We are a few minutes away from showing you what happened when Alex attempted to ride a double luge down a mountain, but we've been asking for your highlights of the year over the last few weeks, and Dan said, is it OK the best episode of the year was when Chris O'Dowd was hammered? <laughs> now... I don't know how somebody would allow themselves to get in that kind of state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As an audience member, I'm outraged. <laughs>
<laughs> What's the point of coming on a show if all you want to do is treat it like a night out at the pub? <laughs> if you came on and did that, you wouldn't bug me again. <laughs> we did, <laughs> Johnny. We did. <laughs> We've seen this before. We booked you because of it. <laughs> you keep telling us you're going to change. You never do, but we take it back because we love you. <laughs> Decade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> All of the family collectively gathering together and acknowledging we've done bad things. <laughs> like, like a family. That, that, that gets... that gets killed in a, in a Clint Eastwood film. But at least we all held hands together and said, we've done bad things. <laughs> and at least three out of five of us opposed Brexit. <laughs> and the other two that didn't agree yeah. are now dead in a well. <laughs> When I say now... Th Can I put my foot on it? There you go. So I get some feeling You on. got it? OK. Yeah. OK, you may now kick it uh, straight ahead. Go. Well, uh, I'm quite obese and if I take my foot off this suddenly, I might fall down. <laughs> I've got you, I've got you, I've got you. OK. okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I won't send a wine cup for a nun. <laughs> um... Piss in the bath and pretend I was, <laughs> pretend I was James Bond and it was acid. <laughs> and I used to sit there and like work out how long I'd go without giving them, you know, telling them the answers to everything they wanted to know. <laughs> anyway, let, let's do this. <laughs> Feels good to get it off your chest. <laughs> saw England win the cricket world. Yeah, yeah, well, I never got to play cricket, did I? Cos <laughs> <laughs> I went to a seminary school and my mum had to nip me jumper cos we couldn't afford it. So they put me in the outfield and in the outfield I used to wander off and just build a den. <laughs> so when I watch cricket, I'm wondering, where's the kid who's building a den? <laughs> so, fuck cricket. <laughs> An interesting thing happened that night. Uh, Chris O'Dowd was booked as one of our guests on the show. Before, as the show started, a guy in the audience over there thought it would be really funny to just take his shirt off. Mm. It's never happened before. It's the only time it's ever happened. Didn't tell anyone. The cameras came round at the beginning of the show. There's a half-nude guy sitting in the audience. <laughs> but you know what? It was good to see Johnny in the audience. <laughs> 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 Now, what happened was no one knew, so security guards rushed the guy. So, for the first 15 minutes of the show, he was over there, I couldn't see him. Or the whole audience were watching six security guards surrounding a half naked guy in the audience. People at home were tweeting on the right to the Hilsey, yeah. don't look. <laughs> but just to say, yeah. what you think is happening is happening. <laughs> As we mentioned, uh, Johnny Vegas is our barman for the night. Johnny, how's business been in the past year behind the bar? Well, it's been slow. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gathered together some friends. Yeah. Um, and it's bizarre how many celebrities can come into one bar at one time. <laughs> yeah, right. Always this time of the year. Yeah, that, right? you take two p off a pint and they flock in. <laughs> <laughs> um, la last year you did end up shirtless in the audience. Can you guarantee that won't happen again? I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> That's why I can't get insurance. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I see the adverts on the telly, I am three months away from being 50 and I am not getting a free pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, just... That's why I'm not watching the History Channel. <laughs> Nine out of ten adverts are... Uh, have you thought about what your kids will do when you go, they've had a good enough start, <laughs> fuck them. 
I saw a bloke catch a carp and put his penis in its mouth and I told no one. He should have lost his fucking rod licence. <laughs> wrote a strongly worded letter to the Angling Association. <laughs> uh, OK. Yep. <laughs> Balls deep, he was in... <laughs> and you know what fish are like? They look shocked enough, don't they? <laughs> Natural environment. 